everyone and Hello. welcome again. We are Hello. live for episode number 16 today. That's it. So that makes four what? months. Is it four months? Yeah, it's about been a long time, isn't about it? A long time, yeah, yes. Since March. So since March, since we started this uh, uh, new way of trading with the door shut, yes. we started doing this live. So it's been uh, very interesting and well, it's been a very positive journey, hasn't it? A bit of a journey, yes. Yeah. We started from the front counter with a with a computer and uh, we did some work in a shop and now we have a studio so you can see us a bit better hopefully yes uh let's give it a few minutes for uh, i want to jump online so tony is online hi tony so probably some of you have seen the video we did yesterday just give a bit of a bit of a glimpse of the new of the new layout of the shop definitely it was really exciting wasn't it we did a few it things it is it is it was a very busy month for everyone uh quite a few people involved in shuffling everything from front to back and back to front it looks really good i think it does indeed. Really well. It does indeed. Yes, yes. So uh, we are still opening anyway. For those uh, they may uh, want to know, so we're still trading. The door is obviously closed, but we let people in at maximum of a few at a time. Yeah, that's right. That's just to keep everyone safe, keep yep. uh, all of us sort of safe as well. Absolutely. Um, gives you a nice sort of open environment to, to exactly. look around, um, and then we just turn over people, and then Absolutely. we might and have a little line, but we'll let you in eventually, mm -hmm. and. Very much a one-to-one -one service, That's it. which is uh, which is a positive at the end somehow. Yes. So let's see, we've got a few few online. Nick, hey Nick, welcome. It's a few, Captain. Here we go. All right, well, it looks like we've got a few. So all right. Uh, first of all, let's see if someone can guess what car we got at the front here. Actually, you may not be able to see it there. It's better this way. So oh, there it is. I see we're gonna we're gonna do a bit of a close up towards the end. For now, let's see if you can guess what car we've got there. Uh, First thing first today, the competition. Competition, Tell yes. Us, yes, okay, so we've got the competition going. It's for Mick um, builds. So we're into one week so far, and interestingly, we haven't got any entries yet. Whoops! But <laughs> hopefully, we'll get everyone entering now because I would imagine there's a lot of people with mechs, and you would yes. have already built mechs. You've got them sitting there, you might as well enter them because the more entries, remember, it's going to push up the, um, uh, the prize the pool. Price and um it gives a bit of chance for everyone to to win to and win. also there'll be more entries for everyone to look at because everyone Absolutely. likes looking at the uh, work in progress photos and also the finished product too so make sure you tell your friends about the competition yeah share it share it yeah if you, tell if you jump everyone. on our page yeah you can share it around and yes. let's see if you get a few entries this time so for sure. some really good successful competition we up to 20 entries or so from yeah, memory that's the, right. the armor one had that's about right. 20 entries yes and the so gun one good. we had before that didn't have much less than that okay so hopefully we can get more I'm, I'm sure there's plenty out there i mean even absolutely even one person could probably do five easily yes so yes okay yep. so um this week was very busy so it has we been busy have actually received a lot of product the last couple of weeks are a bit quiet from new products arrivals but today uh we have a lot to say so oh, definitely uh today we're not going to do the usual news section we're going to keep it all for next week yes but we're going to present quite a few new products um that we have received so so I've got a few things behind us. Uh, some of you have probably seen glimpses of it. Yes. But what are we going to start looking at first? Well, since we talk about the Gundam competition, how yes. about we talk about Gundams? Okay. So right. a few Gundams came in. So let's see. Uh, this one over here, the Curios. Yeah. That's highly sought after. So this just popped in uh, last week. Um, one of the newer uh, MG size right kits. So obviously MG is one to one hundred scale. It's Master decent. Grade. Yes, yeah. so Musgrave being more complicated than so your HGs um, and your little SDs. So they've got a lot more um, articulated components. In detail, yeah. And this one's got um, sort of converting type, looks like a fighter type mode as well. Like that. Yes. Like a plane type fighter. Wow, that's really cool. But that's a Kyrgios. And then we've got a few smaller ones. Go on so there. we're going to move here. Alright, so we've got the Urban. Urban's an HG. And then the Justice and the Wyndham. So these are just popped in as well. So there you go. So these are all high grade? These are all high grade. So they're, they're perfect examples to put into the competition as well. So if you're a crazy man and you, and you want to just build a, a one week project, easily you can put one of yeah. these together in a day and then the next few days to, to paint it up and then enter the competition, you've got a chance of winning, winning big. Yes. But that's a few new guns. Yes. So there were a few others actually, but this is probably their highlight. Yes. So we had a, quite a few Gundams in. Here we go. Yep. 
I think the next really exciting uh, arrival for this week are the Scholastic cars. So Scholastic releases new cars every couple of months. Yes. So we have uh, some really, really good releases here. I think we should just go through a group of two. So we've got some Australian ones here. So that uh, Ford XW Falcon here. So let's see if we get on here. So um, move on to, here we go. So that's the XW Falcon by Scholastic. There we go. So it's got a really nice orangey red. Yes. So, and the GD stripes. And does have a driver. So even the interior details are really well, well uh, curated. The body was getting better and better, I think. Absolutely. You see the reflections coming off these. Yes, they're really, very really, really well polished. Very die cast style. Hopefully you can see there's a roll bar in there as well. There we go. And then we have an XY Falcon in a metallic, is that a metallic blue? It's, um, yeah, it's a very fine metallic. Very, very fine metallic, actually, yeah. Here we go. So, XY is um, most notable by having the, the rear wing on it. There we go, yeah. And it's also got that uh, the shaker hood on the bonnet. Ah, yes. So this is part of the 2020 range from uh, Scholastic. And for those who don't know, these are all in one thirty-second scale. That's yes. a very standard size for slot cars. Again, they can all be converted to digital as well. Yes. So you just need to purchase a separate chip and you can easily install it inside. So these are the two Australian releases that we just received yesterday. Yep. So they're quite different colors to what's been released before. Yes. Uh, so what next? Piece. So we've got some, um, oh, well, the Dodge Charger. The Charger here. Yep. There we go. That's the Dodge Charger. That, that's a very interesting color. It is. Again. It's a very nice. I don't car. think it's been. I don't think I've seen a two-tone one before with a different coloured hood. No, you're actually correct on that. Yeah. So uh, this is a, a left-hand drive, actually. It's got the antenna at the back. Is a the two colour. It's a very color. rich metallic purple. Very nice. So. It's actually got some fairly big glittery um, flex through it. Yes. And. Even the front end is really well well detailed with the chrome the chrome bumpers. The chrome is actually really well well made. It's very too. fine. Yeah, yeah, very fine. Yeah. It's not and chunky as you'll see on a lot of other stuff. Yeah, and it's got uh, clear lights as well. Hmm. So here we go. And then to finish this we have something a bit different. Probably not as detailed, but probably a bit more for the younger ones. They're quite unique, I think. These are are definitely unique. So you got these Batman influenced cars here we go Let me just crack this one open as well so that's the joker and then you have the batman there so this the batman one's based on a um janetta a janetta yeah i think it looks like they molded the janetta from memory oh really they released some of those let's see what what were you thinking oh, i don't know i was just going to say something really vague like a uh, group c car <laughs> probably yeah I, I think that's what <laughs> it could be yeah uh, i think i've seen the janetta last year they released some of those slightly different changes on the mold because the wheels are open here yep but it did look quite similar to those. It's interesting, you may not see the design on it, but it looks a bit like a, um, a black and white landscape. Yes, let's see. Put it on the side here again. So let me just pop it over there. So it's got this sort of ghost image. You'll, you'll see the um, the Batman symbol on the side. And it's all yep. different uh, grayscale. Yes. It's very interesting, the wheels are open here. So you've got an opening on the top as well. And yeah, the like front and the rear. They're like those cooling vents, aren't they? Yes. That's very good like fun. So all the glass is in a yellow tone. It's clear, but it's just uh, it's been tinted. So there's a Batman. It's got a really stealth look to it. And this is your Joker. And Joker's not stealth at all. No, not at all. It's got a no. big smile at the front. Yeah, very cheeky. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. So that's your Batman. So that's for the, for the younger one, perhaps. So they also have a Batman set coming uh, later in the year, I think. Oh, with these cars? With these cars as well. Right, okay. So you should be able to purchase the same cars uh, as part of a, a, a full a full set as well. Yep. So makes sense. Here we uh, go. Someone was asking a question. Uh, yeah. If it has working lights. Any I of think. These? I think these ones do. This one could have. This one definitely not. The Batman and Joker don't. This um, blue one definitely has working lights. It's got the working light symbol on the front. Oh yes, yes. Um. That one doesn't. These ones don't. This one I don't think they do. Uh, 
No, I don't think they do. No, you can see right through. Yeah, no, yeah. these are simple. These are, these are quite basic. This one, I think, are the lower detail one. Yes. Often on the licensed uh, product to keep the price within the uh, seventy nine ninety nine range, they yeah. reduce the level of detail. So there's no interior details on these ones, but they have the licensing with those ones that have full interior details and also the working lights. I guess if you're clever enough, you can always put some LEDs in there. Absolutely, that. you could, yes. Hmm. So that's not very difficult, yeah. So, yeah, effectively, this is a Le Mans car, actually, as someone is suggesting here. Good, so nice nice to see some new slot cars. It's actually been Definitely. very consistent this year. We're actually receiving a few every every month and a half or so, which is which is nice. A lot of people are collecting these now. They are very much so collectible, yes. Okay. So, uh... Let's see if anyone has any questions in the meantime. Let's see a few questions here. Okay, next one is Santa Mia kits. Also, we received a couple of new re-releases or releases we from Santa Mia. We did. So these are very old kits that have come out. So it's the Sleekers and the Supra. Ah, uh, yes. So you've got these here. So you've got the Sleeker here, and then you've got the Supra. So the, the Supra was based on the Sleeker, uh, but it was just souped up. So here's right. the Supra. Um, so what's for this Supra? This one's a... Okay, so it's a Marshall car from GP. So this is from the Long Beach GP. It's gone back some time, I'd say. That'll be into the late 80s, mid 80s. Right. So these have just come in. And then more exciting, I guess, would be the Fireblade. Fireblade Honda CBR 1000. That's very colorful. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, that's, no, that's all that's, good. That's gone. Here we go. So we've been waiting for this for some time now. Yeah, it's been a few months when they first um, announced it. And it's really exciting because motorcycle kits are always very interesting yeah. to build. You build the engine and then you've got a framework, you've got the exhaust and then you've got um, a perfect mirror finish that you have to try to do on the bodywork. Should we open it? We can open it, sure. Why not? Let's, let's do it. Have you got an opener? I don't have an opener. Do you, you have an opener? <laughs> I'll find an opener. We don't have an opener. So as soon as we find a, a, an opener, we're going to have a look at this. But yeah, this is definitely a good looking kit. So, meanwhile, can anyone guess what car we have at the front here? That's a, just a brand new release which you also received this week. Here we go. Opener. BJ has the opener now. That's how you open a kit. Yeah. Just do this. Here we go. Okay. So we may switch. Here we go. Okay, so you've got all your fairings on the first bit here. Now the fairings, I mean to me, I've done a really good job on fairings all the time because these are the parts where you want it really smooth, so they're very highly polished uh, out of the factory. So you've got your tank here, and then you've got the, the front across here where your headlight is going to be and your windshield. You've got your side fairings, the bottom part here, you've got the seat area, uh, and more of the seat along here. So. You see just how many parts are needed for the bodywork? Just for the bodywork, yep. yes. And you might just see these little holes here. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they're for the screws because the, the cowling, quite a lot of it is screwed, screwed on, on and then clipped together. So you can quite easily take it off to see the engine detail. Really good level of detail on this one. Let's see if we can actually get it a bit closer. But you can see a very good level of detail on just on this side. Okay, so... Because there's so much engine detail in them. Let's just oh, quickly oh, look at here. So you've got the tyres here. So you've got the front tyre, rear tyre. Obviously the front one's a bit uh, smaller than the other. You yep. always get a screwdriver yep. with these kits for yep. the screws because there's a whole bunch of little screws here. Yep. And then you've got some vinyl cable here for all the plumbing uh, in various sizes. So it adds a lot to the kit. And it's a spring it as well, so that, that means the suspension is actually working, functioning? It's not actually working, but, but it's got that look. Okay. Yeah. They always have that's, a spring. That's very there. impressive. Yeah. Okay, then you move on. Okay, so the black components here. So you've got most of the uh, you got your wheels. Wheels. You got your, your rear forks. Oh, sorry, your rear swing arm. You've got your front forks here. Yep. This and then breaks. This is a bit special because this here have actually got all the ventilation holes mo yes. molded through it. Usually they're not molded through. Oh, I see. Normally you have to punch all the holes. Well, that's it. Normally you, you pull out your tiny drill bit and you drill them all out. Here we go. But they're already been molded with all the holes. So they're going to be in the perfect... Um, uh, there's spacing. another one here actually. That's probably the rear disc brake yes. here. So the little one on the rear. Yeah. So you can see you can see it through actually. That that's really impressive. The side mirrors, I believe, this yes. one's here. Yes. Really nice. So you can imagine how accurate the molds have to be to get yeah. that fine detail. And as always when you look at a uh, Tamir kit, there's absolutely no flash. Absolutely. No flash yeah. at all. 
impressive. Yes. There's some clear parts again. Okay, so you got your windshield, you got your um, uh, brake lights and your, your headlights there. Um, Very well polished, actually. Well, these round Pretty things. Transparent. That's a bit different. Oh, the, there's some wheels there for the um, support. Um, what do you call that? The ramp thing. Oh, the, 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 the jack. The jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There. Okay, so they're Okay, I didn't know you'll, that was included. You'll probably paint those. Sorry, what? then. Yep, so they're all lenses. Okay, and some engine details, is it? it? Engine details. Okay, so engines are always very nice. You got your, your engine halves there for the block. Uh, you got the top part here. You got your radiators. Radiator, yeah. Yep. And all the exhaust yeah, as exhaust. well. The bike is also really nice to do because you can do that burnt um, titanium exhaust effect. So you can see. Chain's always really nice. Oh, the chain here. Yeah. Yep. They were really the finely chain. detailed. I mean, if you're really you mad, you can always get a the exhaust. Yeah, you can get the photo which chain set for it if you're crazy. Oh wow! Yes, yeah, but you don't want to yes. do that. You drive you mad. Yep. So you got your um, big exhaust there. Yep. The muffler the, there. The, the end part. Yeah. Yes. Really, really good. Last. Okay. Last so you bit. got your frame here. So black piece of sprue. You got your frame halves here. Yep. And then you've got uh, what's that? Might be a front box. I guess with uh, electronics and all that. Yep. You got the the covers for the uh, uh, the front of the bodywork for the, uh, uh, the radiators. radiators. Yep. Yep. I think you got your rear light section here, which is underneath the seat. You got the front end, which is um, uh, for the front of the cow. And your handlebars, brakes, levers, and all that. Yes. Okay. So. And then you finally got um, some decals. Some decals here. Yeah. A bit hard to see because it's covered up with. One here, one here. Okay, so you've got two sets of decals there, you've got your colours here. Yep. Yeah. And Some then you get your the masks. masks. Yeah. Yep. So you just gotta cut out your mask there. I mean that's luxury, you're never used to have any of that, and you have to try to do that yourself. And then you get your um, metal transfers for the uh, mirrors on your uh, yeah. side vision. So uh, yeah, wing mirrors. And to finish up the usual good instructions. Yeah, so the instructions are a bit a bit advanced now, so Plus That's a traditional pages. style. Yep. So you got all your paint guide on the front, front, like always, with the codes, and then the CAD step. style, step by step. And there's a lot of steps here. Really, really very well detailed. And so the bike kits are so good because it's almost like building a real bike. And then as you get to the end, you got that. And then this one's a bit different in that they give you some reference material. So it's also in English. Yep. And then there's photos that actual bike to use as reference. And then you've got your the different, different schemes. Yeah. So you got your red version on your black, the black one. The black one would be nice too. Yeah, it would be. That's really still stealth. Bit oh, I prefer matte black. I prefer the red one though. Matte black would be. Have to stand we, out when you're doing 100 kilometers now. Yes. It'd be good to see if someone can produce a really nice matte black finish on that one. Yeah, matte black finishes are really tricky. Challenge out there. Yes. And that's it, really. Yeah. Very nice so kit. Beautiful indeed. kit. Very nice kit indeed. So. I think we've got a few questions here, Matt. Uh, you've got some people already throwing some answers for what they think. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. okay let's, so let's, let's hear it. What are we tipping at the moment? Okay, so Tony is saying Aston Martin. It's not an Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Martin. No. 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 And Daniel Penaflore, MTB from YouTube, saying Porsche. No. 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 It's, still a, it's still a very high end manufacturer. Yes. But, but, but none of those two. That's yet. right. So not from Aston Martin land and not from Porsche land. No. A different land. Different land. Different true land. that actually. True, true, true. Yes. So uh, uh, we can see Alfa Romeo. Well, the land may be correct this time, yes, but yes. it's now an Alfa. It could look like an Alfa, but it's not an Alfa. Maserati, yeah, correct land again, but not yeah, quite. Yeah, but not the maker. Keep them coming. Get, getting closer. Um, it's not going to be a Fiat for sure. <laughs> oh, actually. Could be. Could be. Uh, so David is asking if you can review some of the NASCAR plastic models. Oh, the new ones. The new ones. Those are not here yet. So uh, we so should the junior ones. Yes. Yes. We presented those last week. Yep. And they should arrive within the next couple of weeks. Am I, I wrong? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. They're, they're not Mid far July. away. Yeah. So. Definitely. We'll open them up as soon as we get them in. Yes. So definitely we'll do a, a bit of a review. You probably see them on the live here as soon as they come in. Yep. And uh, what else? Uh, someone else is asking. David received the Aramac setup station. I'm glad. We talked on the phone, I think, a couple of Saturdays ago. Uh, and uh, finally, I think we got the right manufacturer. So that's the Ferrari, for sure. So now is the model. 
Which Ferrari? Yeah, well, we'll keep going along. Okay, so, yes. so Ferrari is. Let's move to the so model now. on Google looking up yeah, Ferrari. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> uh, should, we, should we move to a another bike? Yeah, so, well, you can see a little bit. There's a bit there's of up here. Box up here, it's huge. And might, wait a lot. Might, might need a hand bringing this one down because. Well. Okay, so All come right. down. Here we go. Here we go. 976 parts to build this uh, Ducati. So this is a Porsche kit, uh, very rare. We haven't seen one for a couple of years, I think now. So Yeah, they have, they're not producing as many as they used to. No, hmm. so um, they what, what they used to do with the Lamborghini, I think. They had a few Lamborghinis, am I wrong? Yeah, they did do. Yeah. So before that, they had Lamborghinis, and then before that, they were doing um, some Ferraris in die cast, and before then, they had all the plastic kits. They had well. the thousands and thousands of bits from the 1920s and 1930s. So, Porsche was an Italian manufacturer. I think now it's owned by the Hornby Group, which is yes. part of uh, the usual AFX and Hornby and Scalextri. Yep. And they start to release slowly different different models, but they had a bit of a gap in the last couple of years, and we are really glad to see this Ducati 1299. So, I don't think we can unbox this one, can we? No, I think they're factory sealed, so we probably don't want to unbox sealed, it. But so, yeah, they're all die-cast metal bodywork with plastic components, and it's already factory painted. So you guarantee a really nice finish. That's an impressive, there's going to be an impressive finish kit really. Yes. 976 parts you can see down here on the box. One to four scale, huge. Very well detailed. Yeah, sorry we can't um, open this one, but this is going to be a really nice build if you get to, to one of those at some point. I've seen the one of the uh, Lamborghini finish, they were really impressive. I think the chain is actually metal and, and, and oh, a real yeah, chain yeah. now just to give an idea so there will be quite quite an impressive level of detail shocks maybe even functioning or or, or moving maybe some moving parts normally yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, uh there's quite a few degree of of, of, uh, of of movement actually so you can see how big the front is i mean if we just turn it to the side you'll see how fat the box is just to give you an impression I yep mean, here we go this is a big kit that's huge yeah that's not an overnight project no no all right, so no. we go back up. Yeah, let's put it back up. All right. There you go. Oh no, how 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 heavy you reckon it is? It's a bit close to ten kilos. That would be probably a ten kilos kit. Yes. Wow. That's uh, impressive. So that's Ferrari two seventy five GTV. No, close. It's a few. It's an it's an odd one. Yeah, it yeah. is an odd one actually. Yeah. But it's it's not a two seventy five or close close. Uh. This is a one thousand plus dollar kit, actually. The, the Ducati, so it's a big, big, big kit. So uh, next, I think we need to talk about trains. Let's talk so about trains. We've done slot cars, we've done yes. plastic kits. Yep. And time to talk about trains. Well, there is a new Flying Scotsman. Yes. So the Flying Scotsman is a classic. Hornby's been producing this Flying Scotsman for many, 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 many years. I mean, a lot of people probably don't know, but the real Flying Scotsman was actually run in Australia. They yes. shipped it over. Yes. So they ran for a bit and they shipped it back. Absolutely. So, the, this is a train set, which means it gives you all you need to start modeling trains. Uh, it's a great way to get to get into the hobby. And it does include anything, everything you need. Obviously, there is a Flying Scotsman locomotive with three carriages. Yep. Uh, you have your controller to adjust the speed and obviously a loop. With a with a spin-off point, very nice model, and this is the new boxing with the new controller that they have just released this year for the 2020 range. So it's quite big. It comes with a track mat as well. It so does. Was it 1.6 meters by 1.3? 1.3. Yes. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, that's a nice uh, nice set. So I think we should actually see if we can. So Hornby has this mat that you mentioned. The mat is actually very interesting because the mat gives you the ability of expanding. So without having to think what you need to expand your set, you, you can follow the map. So they've got different sets. So there's a, there's a pack, there's the oval, then there's a pack A, which is included in this set, and then B, C, D, E, and F. And then you can expand all the way to have, uh, I think, so two complete set, loops. Isn't it? Yes, yes, and there is a, uh, there's, a, there's a road, and a station, uh, a couple of stations actually. So it's, almost like, it's almost like having the landscaping already set up there. Absolutely. And then you just expand upon yeah. it slowly. It's a very good way to actually get into the hobby, I suppose. Hmm. 
Very nice set, very nice new set. Yes. Okay, so next one we also received from Hornby a new little locomotive. Here we go, let's put this away. So, I think we should open this one because actually really really nice. They definitely look better out of the box. They do. So this is an OF class 21. The pug. I always quite like these smaller locomotives. They have a bit of a a different flavor. Okay, here we go. So that's what they look like, really tiny. So that's a double O scale locomotive. And here we go. Okay, so this is a 1919. 1919, here we go. That's a obviously steam locomotive. And as you can see, the level of detail is quite impressive again. There's all the all the parping up here. So they use these until 1965. Wow, very long service. Mm. So there's no weather in this one. Perhaps they're going to produce a weathered version at some point. It's quite common that they do some weathered and some non-weathered. So here we go. Sometimes the clean ones look nice because as a model you would like to see them clean. It's a bit like a museum type piece, I guess. Yes. And then at other times, weather does look nice too because it looks more realistic. It does indeed. So you can also weather them yourself. Like when you build model kits, then you can add some weathering. So yeah, it's, it, not it's not uncommon that uh, you know people decide to buy them uh, clean and then weather them afterwards. So always a good way to go about this. And also today we received some Australian uh, rolling stock, which is a oh. Z car from Powerline. She's on and this, this one? one here. Yeah. So Powerline is a modern based uh, company who manufacture different uh, uh, locomotive and rolling stock. Let's put this away for a moment. Just sitting on a bit of an angle at the moment. Let's straighten them up. There we go, put this away. It's not gonna go back in the box, it's very common. They come out but they don't go back in. Here we go. Okay. I don't think I've been sitting right, but not sitting yet. Yeah, you get, you there get we go. So we may have to move this uh, Ferrari away so we can see that one. We've had some more guesses for that too, but we'll talk about that. Yeah, we check the guesses in a second. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. And that's your Z class. So they've got a first and second class option. Well, it's VR, but eh? Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's a coach. That's a new new release by Powerline, just in store now. Well, these look amazing with it, if they're lit up. Absolutely, yes. Yep. That's an extra thing you, mm. everyone can do, put some LEDs, they will go quite quite nice. They have uh, some degree of detail inside, you can see, let's see. You've got some seats, haven't they? You, have, you can see the seats here. They're a long carriage. Very long carriage, yes. So you can see all the seats. So if you put some lights, they quite nice. So that's the first class and there is also a second class option. Well, we okay. have this one out here. We should probably mention about the grass, stuffy grass well, applicator. Well, that's right. I mean, you can see how the grass looks really rich and full here. Yes. So it always helps to have the, the right applicator. So, it was, was it a couple of episodes ago or a few episodes ago we showed this yep. uh, static grass applicator? So. Just got them back in stock. So these are made by Ground Up. They're Australian made. And there's two sizes. So we've got this one. Which is a smaller one, I think. That's that a one? smaller one. Okay, yeah. so this part of it, which is the um, uh, negative ion generator. Yeah. So that's the same, but it's just a hopper part of it, which is different. So this is a bigger 77 mil. And then this one's got the narrower, uh, I think it's 44 mil hopper inside. Which is a good capacity anyway. This is yeah. very, very big actually. This is huge. This is huge. So yeah. unless you have a big layout, there's a smaller option is definitely a good option. So yeah. these are now in stock. We also received quite a few different uh, tone of uh, of fiber, actually, of grass. Yeah, we did. Um, so the ground nice. up stuff is um, good in that they use a lot of uh, Australian type colors. Right, yep. yeah. So the burnt grasses and such, rather than being super lush. Yes, so this is mm. it. So you have your carriage where you can put some LEDs and that could be a good exercise. And then you yes. can do your your scenery, your grass with your static grass applicator. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's park this one. Quickly, uh, where's it come from? Here. 
Okay, so let's check what are the guesses. So, 277, we went up to 2. Oh. So we're from 275 to 277, no, not yet. No, not quite. Uh, higher, definitely higher than 277. Should we change the angle a little bit? Let's change the angle like this. Let's see, yeah, let's get it more that way. Does that help okay, a bit? That should give a bit better idea. Uh, David is asking for the Aramax pit lamps. Um, the foldy ones? I think they have a few different versions. I'll have to I'll have to get back to you, uh, David. I think we had some, perhaps, but I, I'm not really sure, really. Uh, I'm actually doing an order. We're doing an order today for Aramax. So if not, they will be coming very, very soon, actually. Yeah. So let's see if there is any more guesses before we move to Tamiya RC. Tamiya RC. To complete, so we touch on everything. We touch on plastic kits, lock cars, almost die cast, and uh, time for a bit of RC. Well, that's it. Well, we got a, quite a lot of stuff to turn up we, uh, over the last few stuff. days, yes. which is very exciting. So we've got a, a bit of a bit of this and a bit of that, but I guess we should have a look at a very, very classic, which is... Something we presented last week. So last week so, we presented the old school version of this one. So we presented this one. So everyone remembers we had a look at uh, Paul's Super Shot. Yes. Which is more commonly called a Super Hot Shot now. Yep. Okay, so we thought we'll have a closer look at the original Hot Shot. Yes. So let's pop that there. Okay. 296. So hot shot. David, no, not 296. There's a few more numbers to get to that <laughs> model. Oh, we've got a bit of reflection going. Yeah, so here we go. That That's there. better. How's that? Okay, so. Okay, so how about we start off with another sort of mini quiz and see if anyone knows what the differences were from the hot shot to the super shot. Yes. Because the super shot was the full on worked up version of the hot shot. Upgraded. Yes, that's right. Definitely. Let's see. Let's see if someone can suggest that. So, I mean, this. So. so, this is a very nice original. So, obviously, being used, still in very, very good condition. Um, I like the used look of it because it means I think it's it been does. loved. I, absolutely. You know, not just built and just put on the shelf. It's actually been well used. It's not. Oh, absolutely. well, that's it. Yes. Yeah. So it's missing a few bits. Yeah. It's, it's missing the front drive shafts, which, you know, quite often happens. So he took I, another one out and it's two-wheel drive. I think Paul is going to bring them back in, I think he said. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, he said he's found some. Okay. So, otherwise, let's see. All right. First thing first, I guess the shock. Yeah, the shock. There's the front shock here. That's probably yeah, one of the... the rear one as well, because... And for, the rear even, one. Even oh, for yes, a normal yes. car, it was weird to see something with monoshocks. Monoshocks, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's very... Um, technical to try to yeah. make work. Absolutely. So you've got a monoshock on the front, you've got a monoshock at the back. So that's the main difference because on the super shot, it's got four shocks. Okay, one shock per corner. Big difference. Big difference. Okay, and, and because of that, it's got new shock towers. So you've got the individual shock tower there. Yes. And you've got the fiberglass shock tower at the back. Okay, and then the other thing would be came with a faster motor, uh -huh. technical old motor. Right. Okay, and that's still got the original in there. So your brush motor there. So what else is different? Body slightly different. So body, so the front end here. You yes. got the nose section. And the sides I think were extended a little bit longer. As you see. And they didn't have the shock of anymore here, so they could extend the body and make it yeah. more aerodynamic, I yes, suppose. That's right. Other thing would be the skid plate. Uh, that was an optional yes. extra. Okay, so skid plate from this point all the way to the back. That was different. And then uh, it had a little hatch in the front here. So that was to access the, um, uh, the receiver. Right. Because when you went racing with these things, because they were a sealed monocoque, if you needed to change the crystal, you had yeah, to pull the whole thing apart. Thing. So they put in a little uh, cap here so you can open that up. Change that your little, crystal. Yep, pop back in, off you go. Off you go, yeah. Yep. And what else is different? Okay, this was also optional to have 8.4 volt. Oh. Bigger battery. So, I can't remember if it was included with it, or you had to get it, but there was a, a longer extension to accept the longer... Longer battery. Yeah, the 7 cell battery. Um, anything else? Uh, I think that might be about it. That's about it, really. Yeah. So, super shot. Yep, and, and the hot the shot. The hot shot. So, shall we have a look inside? Yeah, I think we should. Yep. So, someone... So, David and Daniel, actually. Yes. Guess cool. correct. The suspensions. So they, they guess this correctly. So let's have a quick unboxing of this. 
Always good fun to see. That's a piece of weight. It's gonna crush it. Oh, that's fine. So, lead off. Yep. Here we go. It's always exciting to open this box. Oh, it is. Okay, so obvious things are the body. the body. So you've got your polycarbonate body. Yep. The main difference with this and the uh, original ones is the new ones have been covered with the um, the mask on them. Yes. So yes. So you the don't overspray. Have to worry about the overspray. The overspray. Yes. Right. Exactly, and your wing, your clear, oh, sorry, your clear yep. wing as well. There we go. Okay, you get your monocoque chassis. So this is a good example of the open hatch. So they, they modified the tooling to have the hatch. The original original ones wouldn't have this, this is all closed off. So that's the access to the receiver. Okay, it's a monocoque style, so it, it's all a box-like yep. for strength. And you got your driver figures on a mold in there. And you got the helmet that will sit on top. Got your wheels, traditional yep. white wheels. Yep, classic. Classic, yep. This. There we go. Yep. And then, speed this control. is the speed controller. So, obviously, that we will have uh, a mechanical speed controller, the yes. older one. So, yes, that's right. Uh, which is very much a resistor type speed controller, and this is a traditional ele electronic speed controller. Yep, so much smoother. Yes. Yep. Your so, decals. Yep, get your decals there. You got your, your little switches for your, um, oh, your, your warning. Bit of reflection there. Here, here we go. go. Little warning stickers there. Yep. And main, stickers. Main oh. decals. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's that. That's the roll cage here. Roll cage. Yep. It's got a classic look to it. There we go. And then we have the gear box. Yep. So you get your front and rear gear box halves. There we go. Yep. So interesting in these. I mean, you could change the gear ratios with them. You might you might be able to see the slot. Just here, uh, yeah. but rather than the more modern cars where you actually loosened off the screw and then adjusted the mesh, yeah. these ones use uh, spacers, right. which were pressed metal. So depending on the combination of yeah. the, um, the spacers, depending on what size pinning gear you put on. Right. Okay. Red hubs. Yep. So you got all your uprights in there. You got your you rears go. and your fronts. Yes. Uh, you got your um, knuckles. Uh, yeah. So we've got yeah. a few components here, that's which the are hubs. the shocks, yep. so the monoshock oh, that's parts. Right. Yep. Yep. This one here. Yep. There you go. And this is for the uh, captured balls, yes. I think, on the front arms. That's it. Yep. There we go. What have you got in there? And you get your bumper so with the bumper. front skid plate. Oh, yes. So you get your front skid plate there and your, your big wide bumper. Bit you, to yes, you've got your, your classic driver, driver. pack. Yep. So you're not going to use all these bits, but you use the helmet. Definitely the helmet and yep. the face. And yep. then you get your uh, servo saver. Servo saver. Yep. The resin servo saver. And the traditional pin tires. So there these are, these are the famous um, oval blocks. It's amazing there how they go. came out with this pattern for this car and the yes, they're so iconic now. So we've got some pins and some small kind of flat bits. Yeah. Yeah, overly so bits. Now you can see from here, here we go. Some spiky bits and some flat parts. Let's put this back in here for a second and then... Uh, we've got a box of... Nuts and bolts. Yes. And the motor will be included in there as well. Yes, that's right. So this one's all sealed. There you go. And we've got and down some here. more parts. Okay, so you've got your, um, your triangular... Ah, uh, the hubs. Uh, wheel hubs. Wheel yep. hubs. Here we go. So back then... We were not using we we're not using hexes. No. But they were using this kind of triangular let's see if you go on the back here. Triangular hub system. Yeah. That matches on the holes of your wheel here. Yeah, much. it's really really clever. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So And then you got your manual of course. As we saw before on the on the other Tamiya kit, there's a very nice comprehensive manual here. So manuals step by step yeah and like always along here these are actually one life one. size yeah, yeah so you can match it up so you don't uh, mix up which size screw you need okay so going through the chassis and then of course Servos, at the very end it's painting the uh the body and the stickers yeah. and then a bit of troubleshooting and then a list of all the spare parts yeah so there's your, your classic hot shot so we've still got these in stock not many. And you've got a question from someone asking if ball bearings are included in that model. Not no. in this one. Oh, there you go. So ball bearings were included in the super shot or the super hot shot now, but they're not in the um, 
in the hot shot. So I'm, from memory, you need 24 of them. Yes. So it's 18 of the 11 by fives and, and six two. of the eight by fives. Yes, that's right. right. That's it. Yeah. So I think Daniel was so here. He had the Ferrari 500 super fast. Well, the Ferrari 500 super fast is going to come soon from the same manufacturers. So this is not this 500 super fast, but it's very similar to that. Uh, that's actually a new release from BBR as well, which we should see in the next hopefully month or two. Uh, let's put this away and then yep. I guess we can unveil what this car is. There we go. It's a bit of a tricky one because when I first saw it, I had no idea what it was. So, 1962. This is a Ferrari from 1962. And is the opposite Ferrari, Super America 400. 400. There we go. Very very nice model actually. Let's uh, let's see if we can give more more detail. This so again. it's definitely it's definitely got Aston Martin styling. Yes. To certain parts of it. Definitely. And it's got Jaguar to it as well. So it's, it's there's some good guesses the, actually. It's of the time, isn't it? I mean that's that's very Jag looking at the back to me. The front end looks more Aston. Yes. They just arrived this week and it's from BBR in 118 scale. Then once again it's a racing model and you can notice the probably one of one of the things that gives away again the the, the, the glass or the windscreen. And yes. The, how clear and uh, reflective it is. The chrome's been very well done on the trims. That's yes. amazing. That's Hopefully you can see it from there. That's the rear end, the exhaust. And as you said earlier, the chromey on that, the rear bumper is just spectacular. Perfect. Also the Ferrari badge is actually photo etched. Yeah. See if you can get... Uh, as are the uh, windshield wipers, they're all photo etched as well. Oh yes. Ferrari badge there. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. The wheels are amazing too. If you look at the wire wheels, they've got individual wire and they've got a lot of depth to them. There you go. Obviously full interior detail. You can see the brown steering wheel through the front windscreen. The dashboard is also fully detailed. Actually from the back here I can see all the dials. Actually, let's turn this back. Let's see if we can actually, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you should be able to see just see if I can cut, cut the reflection, a reflection there. actually somehow. I think we need to turn off that light eventually next week. But you should be able to see all the instrument yeah. panels at the front. Yeah, it's impressive. Look, that you can see all nice. the individual bezels. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. There you go. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? That was a good one. Yes. So we'll we'll prepare another one for next week. Yep. Okay, I think I think Daniel was about to type it, so just a few uh -huh. seconds late. But thank you for uh, for uh, guessing. That was that was a good one. So if everyone has any more questions for today, otherwise we are towards the end of this live again. Yeah, that's right. So just a reminder about the competition. Yes. You only got a week left. Yes. So please enter. Um, look, I'm sure there's plenty of people that can enter. Absolutely. And then remember that. The more people that enter, the higher the, the, prize the prize is going to be. It'll go up to $300 to be split between first, second, and third. And third, yes. Yeah. And most importantly, just enter. Don't be, don't be concerned about the quality of your build. Just That's make right. sure you enter because uh, if you're the only one, you're going to be the winner. That's it. Don't be so shy. Join in yep. and, uh, and it's going to be really fun. Yeah. Make sure you share it as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So let's see if you get any, any more questions. Otherwise, I think we, we're going to close this live. Yep. Uh, anything at all yeah any questions if you want to see something we'll yes. run out and grab it absolutely yeah there you go any assisted up videos coming uh, we actually plan to do a couple of more actually in the next uh, coming weeks so anything particular David that you would like to know well we can definitely arrange that N Nick is uh, like the shop thank you Nick you should come by eventually. Uh, well, do. actually, not in the next six weeks, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Since you're not working Saturdays anymore for us. But uh, yeah, you should pop in. So for those that didn't uh, see the first few minutes, we actually ran a short video yesterday with the new uh, layout of the shop. So yeah. just jump on the Facebook page, you see the video there. Quite a few changes. So 
where the SC section used to be now is a train section. That's right. And where the train section was is uh, now an RC, RC and packing. So yes. uh, we're packing a lot more and dispatching a lot more di just now. So yes. it's still operating and we had to dedicate an area specifically for dispatching. Yep, that's it. So, but then with tutorials, if anyone has any particular ideas about yes. tutorials, let us know, and then yes. we'll be able to sort of fine tune it to Absolutely. what you like to see. I mean, it could be anything as simple as soldering, for example. Yes. I mean, for us, soldering is pretty simple, but if anyone needs a, a, a tune on how to do it properly, we can easily More than do welcome. That. Absolutely. Yeah, so, anything at all. Um, using a setup station, so I think David, we have may have one uh, brief one on YouTube just now on how to use a setup station or ask general tips on how to set up a touring car but we may produce another one so jump on our youtube channel and have a look at the one that scott did i think a that couple a, weeks uh, ago yeah. i think it was on general setup of a touring car and then we could do another one specifically on this is a setup stations setup station yes. like, like the actual details and how to put it together I and think what so. you're looking for i think we could do one how to assemble setup station yep. what to look for yep. uh, put it together sure perhaps so yeah okay Everyone, thank you for joining us again. Yep, thanks again. And we'll uh, see you again next uh, Friday at 2 p.m. Same place, same That's time. It. Yep, see okay. you then. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye.